uh, diffractions of sound wave and diffractions of light wave. Let's see this experiment. Huh? Uh, we have a wall here, or the building here, and then we have a radio, and we have an uh, observer. Okay? In this case, it's a street cleaner. Between the radio and the street cleaner is this building. Okay, So the building block the radio from the street cleaner. Okay, but uh, if you are the street cleaner, you will you can still hear the sound from the radio. If you sit here or you stand here, you can hear the sound from the radio. Now we know that wave eh, it, it it will travel in a straight line, but when it travel in a straight line, is blocked by the building, right? It's blocked by the building and then reflected back. So the street cleaner shouldn't hear the sound of the radio. But uh, in real life, we know that he can hear the sound of, of the radio, okay? Mm. So the street cleaner can hear the sound of the radio even though it is behind an obstacle, eh? okay? Uh, why? Explanations. Uh, that is because, you see, uh, this is a radio, okay? It produced a sound wave, okay? So the sound wave will travels. Now, after passes through this obstacle here, okay? This is a building, eh? After passes through the obstacles, the wave is diffracted, is spread. Okay, suppose it just move forward, eh? It just move forward like this, eh? but uh, when a wave uh, it passes through an obstacle, it will be spread. Okay, it will spread to a wider area. Okay, and uh, because the wavelength of the radio, a uh, sound wave uh, is quite big, eh? so therefore it's uh, it's refracted more. Okay, the angles of the refraction is very big, eh? so therefore the the cleaner can hear the, the sound of the radio. But uh, just now we learned that the amplitude of the wave will decrease, right? After diffractions, after diffractions, eh? just now we learned that after diffractions, the amplitudes will decrease. Eh? Okay, so uh, if the cleaner is here, okay, he can only hear a very soft sound with low amplitude. Eh? It's not a loud sound. It's a very soft sound because the amplitude of the sounds uh, will decrease after the fractions. Uh, this is also something that you need to know because in exam they will ask you uh, why you only hear a soft sound. Okay, that is because the amplitude of the wave uh, decrease after the fractions. Uh, so that is what you need to know about the diffractions of sound wave. Eh?